Assalamualaikum Nazreen and welcome to Cafe One on Fridays. Friday ka jo hamara show hota hai is a little different and today I have some very very interesting people uh, to introduce you to. Um, these are young people, um, very much part of uh, modern life. Aaj kal ki zindagi mein wo bharpur tarah se jo hai wo involved hain in media and other uh, professions. Yet they are practicing Sufis. So let's talk to them. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce you to Khalid Malik, who is an actor. And uh, um, uh, in, into productions, and yet is is very much a practicing Sufi. Um, we have Junaid, who is um, um, again. Um, uh, Junaid, what are you doing professionally? Well, professionally, I'm actually at the moment I'm doing a scholar course. Right. And I need I'm, I'll be taking um, that as my profession, as in sp spreading Islam and Sufism. Right. Through this. Right. And I think. Um, that's what we need the most right, I mean, right so now. So he, yeah. he's yeah. actually yeah. a, a murid of Sheikh Nazim, uh, my mm -hmm. Sheikh. And then we have Sherry. And uh, Sherry, of course, is a is, uh, um, well-known uh, musician. And uh, Sherry, what are you doing professionally? I, I work for a company called BMA Capital. I'm the head of marketing there. Right. And he's also um, uh, Salman Ahmed's brother. Uh, I don't know if that. I, is I used to manage Janoon <laughs> for about six years. I used to manage Janoon for, for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a little bit of a talk about what what it's uh, what it's like being um, you know a practicing Sufi in today's uh, uh, world. So let's start with uh, basically what attracted you to Sufism. I mean, uh. what made you suddenly decide to? Um, this goes back a number of years. Probably I'd say 11, 12 years ago. Um, I uh, was uh, was always interested in spirituality, uh, and, and I, my my upbringing was a Catholic uh, school upbringing. Right. Uh, so I was in the Catholic school system. So initially, it was comparative religion that I was uh, involved with and excited about. And I moved on from there, and spirituality then came into my life. And uh, long story short, it was at uni. Um, I was I was doing my undergrad at Monash in Melbourne, uh, and there was I remember in the union there was a, a sign that said uh, Tasawwuf. Islamic spirituality, come and listen. So it, never heard of Islamic Curiosity, spirituality before. Huh? Huh. So this is interesting. Right. Um, so I went along to the lecture and, um, and, and got involved with the group and, and started to learn about the Sawuf, uh, Sufism. Uh, so this is probably spanning a good 11 years ago. Now. And this is the same tariqa that you're still involved with? Or yeah, so it's with it, it's the, the gentleman that gave, delivered the lecture back then was with the Shazali, um, right. uh, at, was with the Murabitun, uh, right. uh, that, uh, and I was with the Murabitun, uh, which is a uh, Shazali tariqa. Hmm. Um, and then from there, you know, continuous study, then led me to the Chishtia, and then I'm no, back So what was it immediately? I mean, you uh, when you went there, you lecture. So uh, was that uh, the point where you decided that huh, I, I want to be involved in this sort of uh, uh, system? I thought that there is no spirituality in Islam or not. So I had a lot of people, you know, our clergy, they were talking about it, that, you know, in the example of meditation, how do you do it in Islam? Hmm. What is there meditation in Islam? Hmm. The answer I got was that it was not. That there is no spirituality in Islam. So, I mean, we didn't even get past spirituality to forget everything else. Hmm. So, uh, being listening to a lecture that spoke about spirituality in Islam, within the Islam. esoteric uh, studies within Islam, I thought, well, why not? Uh, you hmm. know, let me explore this further. Hmm. Um, and so that's how it kind of started. And then once you got involved, you just sort of. Uh, I, we, 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 we continuous. We, the so big journey, hai, you know, zindagi ek journey. Islam is about journey, hmm. journeying. Um, hmm. So that was, I think, the big. But I think the journey started way back before. Uh, the seed it, was there, yeah, and then it just and needed I think the it kind right. of catapulted. The catalyst was probably that. Um, right. That event. So we'll come back to that. But uh, Junaid, tell us a little bit about your. Uh, uh, how did you get involved? How did I get involved with in Su Sufism? In Sufism. Hmm. Well, um, to be very honest, Sufi to be called a Sufi or saying that you're practicing Sufism, that is not uh, an easy thing. Mm. Or to call yourself a Sufi is not an easy thing. Mm. Yes, I would say that I'm following a Sheikh. Mm. My mm. spiritual mentor is uh, Maulana Sheikh Nazim, Sayyidina Maulana Sheikh Nazim. He is right now, Alhamdulillah, Qutb uh, Zaman, you would say, uh, of this time, Grand Sufi Master. And uh, he's got 
nine over million murids. nine million converts. Yes. Nine million converts on his hand. Absolutely. This is not something that we see every day. True. But what was it uh, personally? What made you? It was him. To, you met him, and then I that met was him. It. He's. It was uh, by by chance or? Gee, it was. Uh, you see, the, they say ke, uh, the Marde Momen, hmm. a man, hmm. Marde Kalanda, hmm. he sets his eyes on you hmm. and he can change your heart around. He can change your life around. Hmm. And that's what it is that one look hmm. can change your life. So you weren't particularly interested in Sufism? You just no, came I had him? gone to London to be a musician. Right. I was studying jazz, doing a bachelor's degree, wanted to be, you know. A musician, I had no idea about Sufism. I didn't even want to go there. Right. The Islam that we saw when we were children in Pakistan was, uh, you know, the, um, that if you don't pray, uh, if you don't do this, you'll, you'll, you'll be burnt in hell and all, all this. I wouldn't say Malvi Islam, but I would say misconceived Islam. Hmm. And that, that now we are facing this problem in, in, in our country or in other countries. Sufism, you would call it Sufism, I would like to call it classical Islam. I would say this is Islam. Hmm. You the true message the of true, Islam. The true Islam that Prophet wasallam gave to his Sahaba. <laughs>and yourself, Sherry, what attracted you to uh, this way of life? Well, I mean, I think for me, it was, it's been a very incremental process throughout my life. I have felt a very strong pull towards spirituality since I, you know, I think my mother, if, any, if I can give credit to anybody, mm. you know, imbued uh, all of my, my siblings and me with this strong belief in God. I mean, okay. it, it, it was just, it's just so evident. It's mm. like you can't dispute it. It's in your heart. I've always mm. felt God inside me and around me and everything. Mm. So it was just natural to keep wanting to get to the core of that. And, you know, I have been blessed with some really, really uh, 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 kindred souls who, you know, when we were like kids, you know, I think 12, 13, I don't know if a lot of kids did this, mm. but, you know, some friends of mine and me would read the Quran. Mm. You know, it wasn't the coolest thing to do at the time. And I mm. did some cool things as well. Mm. But we'd read these certain verses which really evoked about the end of time and prophecy and we were really interested in that this is that's really what's cool to us we didn't really talk about it to everybody else <laughs> mm. or they would think we're some kind of freaks but mm. that really always excited us fast forward to about a, almost exactly a year ago okay and i came across a guy named sheikh ibrahim right. uh, also knows at school skatima and like uh, Junaid just said looking at this guy literally within the first i would say 30 seconds or two minutes I, I had a I had a revela revelationary sort of moment, hmm. and I told him about it when I developed the courage to actually write to him hmm. afterwards. Um, he spoke to me without speaking. Hmm. I mean, I'm talking about telepathy, hmm. and I couldn't believe it. Uh, hmm. This guy said "Assalamu alaikum" to me without opening up his mouth, hmm. and I I said that back to him, thinking it, hmm. and I, I, maybe it was like my, I thought it maybe it's my imagination because I'm hmm. prone to that. And I wrote this to him a couple of weeks later, saying. You know, I went through this and I'm, I hope I'm not, I mean, prone to hyperbole. Hmm. He said he had the same experience when he met his sheikh. Right. And I was sold. Right. So up now we're talking about sort of special people, uh, a, a special sort of, I mean, that physical communication or the physical realm, hai, ye, uh, this is just one part of reality. There's another a higher reality, uh, so to speak. Um, sort of explain to me a little bit uh, about what is Sufism, what is this higher reality in your understanding? Oh wow, that's such a... That's Basic such a, question, a yeah. Long, yeah. It's such a, yeah, it's that's simple a simple question. It's going to take hours. <laughs> but, Simplify. Um, what is Tasawwuf? I, I, I think it's important that we explain, start explaining Tasawwuf or Sufism in contemporary times, in, in contemporary language. Um, you know, our, our base knowledge for Sufism is it comes from a lot of classical texts. Exactly. Um, uh, very important to simplify uh, and to make it accessible to the modern mind. The modern but uh, just before we go on, uh -huh. I need to take a short break. Uh -huh. And uh, please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Or uh, let's start again with Khalid. You were uh, uh, going to say something. Yes, so you asked the definition of definition. 
आई थिंक जो जब मैंने तस्वुफ़ पढ़ना शुरू किया था तो इनिशली जो क्लासिकल टेक्स्ट है वही पढ़ना शुरू किया मैंने तो क्लासिकल टेक्स्ट के अगर आप आप उठा के देखेंगे लाइक कशफुल महजूब हजरत गंज बाग से अहमत लाई के तो वहाँ पर यू नो दिस डेफिनेशन अक्रॉस द बॉर्ड यू नो के सूफीज़म जो है असाब सफ़ा एस ट्रिब्यून साहब सफ़ा जो रसूल वसलम के जो जो पहले सफ में से थे उन यू नो इट्स इट्स फ्राम दे सम से इट्स इट्स द इट्स द वुलन गारमेंट दैट वॉज वॉन एट्सट्रा लेकिन मौजूदा दौर को मद्दनज़र रखते हुए इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट वी नाउ डिफाइन द सब ऑफ according to contemporary time according to modern times and in modern language that is that is accessible to everyone exactly um as sharyar zikr kar rahe the sheikh ibrahim ka i'm also a murid of sheikh ibrahim hmm. and he's one person i found who has been able to to translate a lot of these classical texts uh, classical jargon jo aaj hamare samajh mein bahut मतलब मुश्किल से आएगा इन टू कंटेम्प्री लैंग्वेज जो हमारे समझ में आए और जो हम यू नो वी कैन एक्चुअली अप्लाई इट टू आर लाइव सो यूजिंग दिस कंटेम्प्री लैंग्वेज द डेफिनेशन सूफीजम नाउ मेरे ख्याल से और लव टू हियर जुनेद एंड शेर से बात दिस देर इज इज सम वन हु इज एबल टू लिव ईच मोमेंट एज अल्लाह प्रजेंट्स in the now in to you in this very moment but living in the moment just doesn't mean living in the moment means ke aap kar kya rahe is waqt aap kar kya rahe are you are you are you serving the other person and that's the ultimate hmm. um तो इट काइंड ऑफ जो जो न्यू एज स्पिरिचुअलिटी एक किस्म के जो वो है तो इट्स इट्स सोर्ट ऑफ इसको मैं न्यू एज भी नहीं कहूँगा मैं मैं इसको ये कहूँगा कि इट्स इट्स असेंशियली जो क्लासिकल टेक्स्ट है उनको 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 रीइंटरप्रेट किया गया है उनको मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज के साथ वो मिक्स किया गया है सो दैट मैं और आप और आप समझ सके सूफी एनालॉजीज कल्चर में इवन इन द वेस्टर्न कल्चर मुख्तलिफ रूप में पेश की जा रही हैं यू नो नॉट नेसरी कॉल इस्लाम और सूफीज़म लेकिन जो कॉन्सेप्ट सूफीज़म के हैं वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट ड्यून यू नो द सीरीज ऑन ड्यून और सर्टन मेट्रिक्स द फिल्म एंड द सीक्रेट यू नो के हाउ दिस कॉन्सेप्ट आर नाउ बी प्रजेंटेड इन अ मॉडर्न वे कि जो हम हमारा जो आजकल का जनरेशन है वो उसको अब्जॉर्व कर सके विदाउट the baggage of sort of uh, um, you know the 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 past and and, mm. and so forth do you want to elaborate on that a bit dekhiye um, going back to your question hmm. uh jahan tak mujhe samajh mein aayi ki hmm. aapne pucha tha ki uh, physical realm hmm. right or hmm. phys- physicality se aap uh, uh, going towards reality hmm. right to uh, agar main main uh, असलाह तसवफ़ नहीं यूज़ करूँगा मगर इसको सिम्प्लीफाई करके अगर कहें कि आलम शहादा ये जो आप देख रहे हो इसको फिजिकल फिजिकलिटी कहते हैं जो बहुत लोग कहते हैं कि दिस इज इट दिस इज दिटी लॉजिकल एक्चुअली इसकी इम्पोर्टेंस बिल्कुल कम है वेर एज इसके बाद आपकी जो रूहानियत है द रूह दिस इज योर आइडेंटिटी आपकी आइडेंटिटी है यू नो आपका फेस ईगो पर्सनैलिटी नो नो आई मीन योर नेम कंडीशनिंग योर नेम हां आपका यू सी आई आई कुड बी हिम माय सोल व्हाट आई एम इनसाइड कुड बी हिम विद दिस आइडेंटिटी इज जस्ट अ चांस सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट हां जब आप व्हेन यू डाई तो व्हाट व्हाट स्टेस यू स्टे इज सिर्फ ये कि द कमांड द अथॉरिटी Hmm. जो आपको अल्लाह सुबहान तारा ने दी ऑन दिस बॉडी दैट कट्स ऑफ राइट सो दैट दैट यू ट्राई एंड मेक इट इन दिस लाइफ टू डाई बिफोर यू डाई टू हैव अथॉरिटी ओवर हम कह रहे हैं कि दो हमारे अंदर दो हिस्से हैं ठीक है एक हमारे ईगो ईगो uh, कह लें या पर्सनालिटी कह लें या सोशल कंडीशनिंग कह लें कि भाई वो एक हमारी साइड है और एक और साइड है जो हम कह रहे हैं कि एक हकीकत है जो रियलिटी है राइट सो दीज आर टू साइड और दोनों दे आर पुलिंग एक पॉजिटिव है जिसको आप रूहानियत कहते हो दैट्स दैट्स द पॉजिटिव साइड ईगो जिसको आप ईगो इज द नेगेटिव साइड नफ्स दैट्स पुलिंग यू डाउनवर्ड्स towards the hell towards the materialism materialism towards eventually hell eventually quran says 
قرآن پاک سے دیٹ نفس المارا آئی ایم ناٹ کوٹنگ ایگزیکٹلی بٹ نفس المارا آپ کو شہری کہ اگر آپ اف یو آر سو کنزیومڈ ود یو نو ارننگ اے لونگ اینڈ بینگ کانشیس آف یو نو یور اسٹیٹس اینڈ دس دیٹ از ہیل اینڈ سیلف ایبسولوٹلی لائک شیخ ابراہیم سیز اگر آپ صبح فجر کے ٹائم پہ اٹھو اور یو لسن ٹو دا برڈس چرپنگ دس از بیوٹیفل سانگ آف ایکسٹسی every soul that is created hmm. is built to experience that ke hmm. i mean just the fact that we are alive zindagi jo hame allah ne di hai that is enough for us to that we can never repay that with gratitude to aapka bhi every human being is is actually meant to be pickled so in joy take the time to smell the roses Absolutely. sort of a thing and live and life this, to the fullest and this from sherry's comments uh, uh, you know the hell that you're talking of آج کا انسان جو ہے سو گڈ ایٹ کریٹنگ ہیلپ فار دم ایکسپرٹس ہیں سو گڈ ایٹ کریٹنگ ڈپریشن میں مرے ہوئے ہیں یہ یہ جو وٹ یو کال ہیل ہیئر از از شیطان میکنگ اٹس وے ان یور لائف ٹیکنگ یو ٹو ٹو ہیلپ ٹھیک ہے ابھی اف وی آر فالوئنگ شیطان اگر اف یو آر فالوئنگ ابلیس دیٹس واٹ ہی وانٹس دیٹس ویئر ہی از گوئنگ And he uses our lower selves, the nafs, the ego that you just mentioned. Hmm. They have, they are friends. Right. But you know, I mean, when, when we talk about shaitan and all that, you know, there's an image in the mind that there's a person who has horns, there's a person who has horns, there's a person who has horns. You know, but I don't think that that, uh, what is shaitan? Is it not just an energy? Yeah, it, it just like negative energy. Go, what is uh, what? Shaitan, <clears throat> shaitan is a being, okay? Hmm. Shaitan hmm. is a being hmm. and it has power of tasarruf hmm. Allah has given him that the human being is the power of the human being from the human being and he wants you Allah se aur uske rasool se but how does he come how does he interact with human beings so, aapke di, di, bas bas so aapke mein through your mind doubt, mind. doubt. Mm-hmm. so monkey mind that's what they a lot of the sufi think like a mind ko aap kaise con, I mean, uh, how do you detach yourself from your own mind your meditation and prayers and all that kyunki jo dimag hai aapka wo kafi had tak aapke control mein nahi hai si- silencing your inner on inner dialogue sabse zyada through meditation alhamdulillah through zikr everything but the key is your sheikh if you don't have a sheikh mm. it is very difficult next to impossible to, to actually shut noise. this thing off true um now uh, there is uh, matlab um, sufism ke khilaf bhi bahut zyada propaganda ہوتا ہے ود ان اسلام آلسو ہاں کافی سارے ایسے سیکس ہیں جو صوفی ازم کو کہیں یہ تو اسلام ہی نہیں ہے اور یہ کیا ہو رہا ہے تو آپ لوگ اس کو کیسے مین ہاؤ ڈیو میں نے شیخ صاحب سے یہی سوال ایک دن پوچھا تھا کہ بہت سارے لوگ کہتے ہیں پوچھتے ہیں کہ پروو کرو یہ کہاں لکھا یہ کہاں اس کو بیان کیا گیا ایکسیٹرا ایکسیٹرا تو ان کا جواب یہی تھا کہ leave leave the proof to them let you if you are really that curious hmm. if, if you agar if you're asking me a question out of judgment hmm. then you're really just not curious you just justify your own your, your own ego to, to you don't justify your own thoughts but if you're actually asking me out of sheer curiosity hmm. then you will find the answer that you're looking for lekin ka jawab ye tha ke you know that's getting like the taste is in the pudding hmm. it's about experiencing it yeah. hmm. come experience it if, if if it's if it's something that doesn't touch you then it's probably not for you to so basically do uh, uh, kism ke concepts hain ke ek hai ke bhi jo anbiya aaye hain wo uh, maamuli insaan hain aur dusra concept uh, ye hai ke wo bahut hi ek uh, high level pe hain jis level pe hum reach nahi kar sakte hain lekin i think sufism is somewhere in the middle jahan hum keh rahe hain ke ye role models hain اور یہ انہوں نے ایک دروازہ ہمارے لیے کھولا ہے تو جیسے رسول اللہ فار انسٹنس جو انہوں نے معراج کیا تھا تو از اٹ ڈو یو بلیو دیٹ اٹ از ٹرو کہ انہوں نے ایک ہماری دروازہ کھول دیا ہے کہ اب ہم بھی وہ اس قسم کی کلوزنیس اللہ کے ساتھ ایکسپیرینس کر سکتے ہیں معراج شریف میں نبی پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وینٹ اپ ان دا ہیونس فزیکل فزیکلی دیٹس آر بلیف رائٹ تو اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ نے پوری جہاں پوری کائنات کو اسٹاپ کر دیا کیوں بیکاز جو جان ہے پوری کائنات کی وہ اس وقت کائنات میں نہیں تھی تو جس سے کائنات کا وجود قائم ہے جس سے وہ چل رہی ہے جس کی وجہ سے 
source of living hmm. you see allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he only has one deputy and that's hmm. rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam hmm. ठीक है बड़े इट कैन बी सीन इन मेनी डिफरेंट वेज एक्चुअली यू नो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट मेटाफिजिक्स एंड सो फॉर्थ के टाइम डजेंट रियली एग्जिस्ट एंड एवरीथिंग इज एग्जिस्टिंग एक्चुअली इन द नाउ एंड दोस सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट्स कम इन टू द होल पिक्चर हाउ डू वी सेपरेट दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टोरीज एंड सुपरस्टिशन अगर आप कुरान से देखें अल्लाह तो रब्बुकुम गॉड विश टू बी नोन राइट एंड सो एन एमिनेशन फ्रॉम हिम व्हिच वाज एसेंशियली द सेम बीइंग he asked this soul hmm allah sto rabbukum who is your lord hmm and unhone kaha you are my lord the the hmm. absolute the purpose of our existence is to worship hmm there you know, some uh, sheikh sahab uh, said once that uh, what is life but uh, five times prayer and waiting for death hmm uh, everything is an excuse for prayer i, I mean it, 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 i think just following out from junaid says ko agar hum आज की जुबान में थोड़ा सा कंटेम्प्री जुबान में समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो सवुफ की आप जब आप बात करते हैं तो आप तजकिया नफ्स के भी बारे में बात करते हैं लेकिन बात फिर सवाल है कि अच्छा फिर नफ्स की डेफिनेशन क्या है नफ्स तो ठीक है ईगो है ये है फॉल्स बट दिनेशन I have read of the nafs hmm. and forgive me because now I'm turning on English but it is the crystallization of events and thoughts around a light source hmm. and it's and our it is about shedding hmm. these these crystals that have essentially covered this, this light source the, the, the divine veil, essence etc to ye then the question ye kaise karte hain जब एंड हम ये कहेंगे जब ये हो जाता है तो फिर योर प्योर डिविनिटी देन यू नो यू रीच दैट दैट मकाम यू इन टच विद योर ट्रू सेल्फ टू योर ट्रू सेल्फ अच्छा अब ना इफ यू लुक एट इट थोड़ा सा अगर हम साइंटिफिक उसमें जाएं तो इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो कि हम लोग क्या दो परसेंट अपने ब्रेन पावर इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं टू परसेंट थ्री परसेंट हाँ कॉन्शियसली राइट लेकिन सब कॉन्शियसली तो uh, हम uh, वो 97% uh, जो है वो इस्तेमाल हो रहा है तो फिर देन वी टॉक अबाउट एनर्जीज पॉजिटिव एनर्जी नेगेटिव एनर्जी जो आप लाशहूर में जो आपके अंदर जो चीज़ें हो रही हैं तो वो जैसे कहते हैं ना कि जो कम्युनिकेशन हम कर रहे हैं वो फिज़िकल uh, लेवल तो एक बिल्कुल छोटा सा लेवल है लेकिन हम लोग uh, uh, जो हम हमें नज़र आ रहा है उससे ज़्यादा बहुत कुछ रिसीव कर रहे हैं और कम्युनिकेट भी कर रहे हैं यू नो जैसे काला जादू क्या है बद नज़र क्या है यू नो दिस इज योर एनर्जीज कमिंग आउट एंड इंटरएक्टिंग विद अदर एनर्जीज एंड दिस दिस होल अदर रैम साइकोलॉजिकल रैम कल कहते हैं इसको स्पिरिचुअल रैम कह रहे हैं यू नो डिफरेंट लेवल्स उस उस रैम के जिनमें हम सब ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं राइट right? लेकिन अब हम कह रहे हैं कि जो लोग इनलाइटेंड हैं वो उस रैम में भी कॉन्शियस हैं समझते हैं ठीक है ना Sorry. जैसे आपने कहा कि जब और आपने भी ये कहा कि जब आपने शेख से मिले तो एक मुख्तलिफ़ किस्म का नॉन फिज़िकल कम्युनिकेशन वो आपके आपने फील भी किया आपने वो रिसीव भी किया और आपने फिर उसका जवाब भी दिया और उसकी एक्नोलेजमेंट भी आपको मिली तो एकदम से एक नया यूनिवर्स आपके लिए खुल जाता है राइट right? okay, uh, अगर आप इसको इस तरह देखें hmm. जितनी हमारी अलहमदा जो कॉन्वर्सेशन हुई है जी. Uh, यू हैव एन इलेक्ट्रिक वायर इलेक्ट्रिक वायर है ठीक है उस पर अगर जंग होगा उस पर उससे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास नहीं करेगी राइट जब उस पर जंग नहीं होगा तो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अच्छी तरह फ्लो करेगी क्या फ्लो करेगी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वन यू टच इट यू डोंट टच द वायर बट यू गेट एन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी देर द वायर इज नॉट देर इट्स ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक करंट जब उससे थ्रू जा रहा होता है वायर इज कनेक्टेड टू द सोर्स तो सारी बातों की एक बात Uh, in this in this day and age hmm. people are miserable hmm. why hmm. they are running east west doing going into different things trying to bring peace hmm. to themselves hmm. uh, uh, going into music or some other forms or whatever trying to bring happiness to themselves hmm. 
and music to phir bhi theek hai but you know pursuit of wealth and fame aur log ab aajkal to sirf ye ke paisa banao to bas wo khush matlab hai that is the right. the, the criteria the exactly they don't bring you happiness basically what's what's giving happiness hmm. is that if you can find that connection to the main source hmm. that is sayyidna muhammad okay. sallallahu alaihi wasallam unlimited source of energy aapke paas hai to wo kehte hai na ki jo aap energy games khel rahe hain ki aap auron kyunki aap wahan us source se connected nahi hai isliye aap ek dusre ki energy suck karne ki koshish kar rahe hain right that's one secondly because aap us source se connected nahi hain the negative forces can easily catch you ki aapki immunity kam hai aapki because you don't have that power you see sayyidna muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is hazir aur nazir hmm. his power hmm. he is there hmm. but our connection he is close to us but hmm. we are far away we'll take a break on that i i i want to uh, uh, take up a point nazreen uh, time for a short break uh, um, we'll see you in a minute वेलकम बैक एंड लेस कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन क्योंकि अब हम uh, फिर एक और ट्रिकी उसमें आ जाते हैं जब वो uh, uh, ए, एक uh, फिर है जो कहता है भाई आप डायरेक्टली अल्लाह से कनेक्शन लें आप नबी के थ्रू क्यों जाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं राइट और ये तरीका है इबलीस का सेटन का वो जो पहली कहानी है जो बिलीफ है नहीं दिस इज द वे ऑफ सेटन हाँ बैक टू दिजिनल स्टोरी क्यों अल्लाह मिया का फेवरेट फरिश्ता अबलीस बना कैसे जी अबलीस बना कैसे कि उसने इंसान को हाँ इंसान को सजदा करने से राइट अबलीस कैसे बना उसमें देर इज दिस इज इज ए नोशन के क्या चीज थी जिसने उसको रोका एक्चुअली वो सजदा किसको था वो सजदा किसको था ताजीमी सजदा था इट वॉज इन शिरक दे जो लोग आजकल कहते हैं वो तो अल्लाह के हुक्म से आपको सजदा करने का था और उसने नहीं किया सजदा तभी वो इबलीस तभी बना वो, तभी वो इबलीस बना हाँ। मगर उस नूर को सजदा था जो सैदना आदम सलाम की पेशानी में चमक रहा था जाहिर बात है वो 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 इंसान उसकी उनकी उनकी नफ्स को सजदा नहीं था उनकी जो डिविनिटी उनके अंदर थी नूर मोहम्मदी राइट एंड इबलीस को ये बात समझ आ गई कि आई वॉज नेवर डायरेक्ट विद हिम Never direct with with Allah, जो अर्श है इसी ये इसकी आंखें अर्श पे थी ये कुर्सी मेरे लिए है जब उसको ये समझ आ गई कि ये तो है ही मेरे लिए नहीं ये तो किसी और की है तो उसने जेलसी हसद में ही वेंट अगेंस्ट हिस्स He is jealous of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So now today, आज के दौर में जो लोग रसूल पाक सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वाले वसल्लम से मोहब्बत या उनकी तरफ बढ़ते हैं या उनके uh, उनके बारे में उनकी सीरत उनकी नॉलेज इल्म हासिल करते हैं he is the one, he is jealous. He doesn't want you to go there. And uh, similarly, मतलब है जब वही सवाल आते हैं ना कि भाई आप शेख क्यों ले रहे हैं आप शेख को इतना रुतबा क्यों दे रहे हैं आप शेख के और मोसिजा क्यों कर रहे हैं हाँ तो वही दिस इज़ द सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट के यू नो के इंसान क्योंकि आई थिंक मसला ये होता है कि आप अपने जो ईगो टेस्ट कैसे करेंगे अल्लाह को तो सब मानते हैं ना जब तक आप किसी इंसान के सामने भी अपने आप को कम नहीं दिखाएंगे तो आपकी नफ्स तो आसमान पे ही रहेगी और इसमें एक पॉलिटिकल एंगल भी है यू सी बिकॉज़ सूफिज्म इज कंसीडर्ड हेटरोडॉक्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ जो पावर स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं वो नहीं चाहते कि आप डायरेक्ट हो जाएं इन अ सेंस इट्स इनवर्टेड कि हमारी बात आप सुने आप दूसरे की क्यों बात सुन रहे सो व्हेन दे से टेल यू टू गो डायरेक्टली टू अल्लाह एक्चुअली दैट्स अ बिट ऑफ होकस पोकस बिकॉज़ दे वांट यू टू लिसन टू देम मुल्ला जो है वो आपको इंटरप्रेट करके आप शेख के पास क्यों जा रहे हैं बिकॉज द शेख इज एम्पावरिंग यू एंड दे डोंट वांट पीपल एम्पावर्ड बिकॉज दैट कंफ्लिक्स विद देयर होल्डिंग यू एज स्लेव्स दैट इज व्हाई सूफिज्म इज ऑलवेज थ्रेटेंड पावर स्ट्रक्चर्स and that's why they've always had to be hidden ha lekin unfortunately agar hum ab history mein jaye to ye power struggle to day one se shuru ho gayi thi okay. actually hmm. maze ki baat ye hai that no one hmm. is direct with allah hmm. jo log samajhte hain ki hum direct hain with allah they are liars because you can can you hear allah subhanahu wa taala speaking to you hmm. he can hear you 
ہی از ڈائریکٹ ٹو یو ہی از ڈائریکٹ ود یو مگر آپ قرآن میں بھی ہے نا کہ ہم یا تو وہی کے تھرو یا فرام بہائنڈ اویئر وہ دو تین طریقے انہوں نے اللہ نے بتایا کہ تھرو وچ ہی کمیونیکیٹ اور اس میں ڈائریکٹ ایز سچ نہیں ہے کہ موسیٰ علیہ السلام نے آرگیو کیا تھا کہ مجھے ڈائریکٹلی اپنا ویژن دکھایا وہ دیکھ نہیں سکے تو یہ تو اس کا مطلب ہے قرآن اور حدیث میں بھی کوئی نبی کوئی ولی ود آؤٹ رسول پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ہمارا جو دماغ ہے وہ کنسیو ہی نہیں کر سکتا ہے ٹھیک ہے تو جب آپ ایک پھر ہم اس پہ آ جاتے ہیں ایکسپیرینشل پہ کہ جب آپ کا دماغ سے ہٹ کے آپ ایک ڈیونٹی کو ایکسپیرینس کرتے ہیں ود آؤٹ ورڈس ود آؤٹ دیر از دی اونلی کائنڈ آف ایکسپیرینس that you can conceive god can can have of god because yeah. god is not uh, a form yeah, to, or a human being that is, you can is, understand this is something jo, what you're mentioning now is basic hmm. islam mein jab pehle log aate the sahaba hmm. to ab uh, quran mein hai yo minuna bil ghaib ke hmm. momin to ghaib par iman laate hain to ghaib jo idhar ishara hai hmm. ki your five senses your intellect isse upar ki cheez hai islam usse hatke cheez hai to jab log islam mein aate the یہ ان چیزوں سے ہٹ کے ہے اور اسی وجہ سے وہ سارے پریکٹسز ہیں نماز مراقبہ ایکسیٹرا ایکسیٹرا کہ آپ اپنے دماغ کی جو آواز ہے اس کو سائلنٹ کریں تاکہ پھر آپ وہ اور چیزیں جو ہیں ایکسپیرینس کر سکیں Right. So now, um, you know, I think we're coming towards the end of our show. Uh, I, I don't know, ki thodi si ye to, I think our discussion is very philosophical. But what our viewers are watching, what the uh, ho, ho uh, jo, jo, jo young people are watching, what do you give them a message? What do you give them a experience? What do you give them a message from this side? What do you give them a message? دیکھیے جہاں تک دعوت کا سوال ہے یو نو آرمز رو از اوپن اف یو وانٹ ٹو ٹیسٹ اٹ کم ان ٹیسٹ لیکن پیغام جہاں تک اس کا سوال ہے اگر ہم موجودہ دور کو دیکھیں جس جن حالات سے ہمارا ملک گزر رہا ہے جن حالات سے پاکستان کی عوام گزر رہی آئی تھنک اٹس اٹس آئی آلویز ریمائنڈ مائی سیلف اینڈ مائی فرینڈس اینڈ اینڈ ایون تھرو سم آف دا تھنگس دیٹ آئی ڈو تھرو تھرو ریڈیو اینڈ ٹیلی ویژن از دیٹ دا فیکٹ کہ آپ ہم سے بات کر رہی ہیں اور لوگ آپ کے شو کو دیکھ رہے ہیں اور دا فیکٹ دیٹ پیپل آر دیر ہاؤسز ود دیر فیملیز از از پروف انف اینڈ ایویڈنس انف دیٹ دیر از مور بلیسنگ دین کرس رائٹ دس ویری مینٹ دیر از مور گڈ گوئنگ آن ود یور لائف دین دیر از رانگ ڈسپائٹ آل دیر از ہیپننگ اراؤنڈ دس دیر از سم دیر آئی ریمائنڈ مائی سیلف اینڈ مائی فرینڈ جنید وار اباؤٹ یو آپ کوئی میسج دینا چاہیں گے message that I would like to give hmm. to everybody and what you have said about it, it's not just our country. This whole world is now because it's because of Allah's presence. Hmm. And people should run to them. Hmm. They should run to them, take their hand. And if everybody is doing that, hmm. this world will be a much better and a peaceful one. I think if we have our people who are doing that, this world will be a much better and a peaceful one. I think if we have our people in our country, if we have our people in our country, if this inherent Sufi philosophy or culture is not there, then now it is so common and it is so that the situation is not in our control. I mean, look at us, we are, we are at war. And now we have seen that this extreme fundamentalist uh, religion کی جو ایکسٹریم جو ہے وہ ہمارے سامنے کھل کے آ گئی ہے تو ڈو یو بلیو دیٹ دا سولوشن از از سوفی ورژن آف آر ریلیجن وچ از ناٹ ٹرو ٹو دا ریلیجن اٹ سیلف وہ بھی میری سمجھ یہ کہ یہ ایک امپوزیشن ہے اٹ سیٹسفائڈ سرٹن ویسٹرن انٹرسٹ اینڈ اینڈ پاکستانیز جو مسلمان ہیں میرے خیال میں تو سارے بیسک بلیف از ٹورڈس تصوف اور ہسٹری اگر آپ سب کانٹینٹ کی لیں تو تصوف نے اسلام ادھر پھیلایا ہے سو آئی تھنک ایبسلوٹلی 
we need to get back to our roots. Well, look, this is such a uh, you know immense topic, and we really don't have enough time to go uh, into too much depth. But it was wonderful meeting the three of you. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, uh, and you know, uh, good luck with your wonderful journey. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in in spirituality, um, Nazreen, uh, um, I hope you enjoyed our uh, our topic today. बहुत सारी किताबें हैं बहुत सारे ऑल ये गुजर चुके हैं लिविंग मास्टर्स भी अभी हैं आप इंटरनेट पे जाएं, आप खुद रिसर्च करें यू नो जब तक आप थोड़ा इसके बारे में खुद नहीं डिस्कवर करेंगे डोंट जस्ट लिसन टू द प्रोपोगडा अगेंस्ट यू नो सूफीज़म ट्राई एंड लर्न लिटल बिट अबाउट इट योर एंड देन जज फॉर योर एंड विद दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक